Now you may own a, an older motorhome, or you may have just bought one that's got a little bit of damage and you want to do some repairs. Many people are very competent at this, um, but they must use the right materials. And one of the things they've got to get right is any sealants that they use. Bear in mind that on motorhomes there are all sorts of dissimilar materials, different metals, fiberglass, glass and so on. And they expand and contract at different speeds. And because in the sun that happens, you need some kind of mastic, some kind of sealant to join the junction between the two bits or three bits so that we don't get an opportunity for the rain to get in. But there are sealants and there are sealants. Some you'll know from home in your bathroom. You've got a Scott sealant around the bath, perhaps around a shower tray, and it might be white, it might be clear, but the fact of the matter is it's only suitable indoors and similarly indoors in a motorhome. No good externally. I want to then move on to bedding sealant because what's, what's bedding sealant? Well, let's say that you've got a ventilator which you want to fit on the side to replace one or maybe you want to put a new one on. The bedding sealant is a sealant that goes over the back, around the little flange, the edge, and it allows it to rest firmly against the underneath surface that may have some slight curves in it. And one of the famous sort of bedding sealants that people use comes in cartridge form. The only trouble with this is, if you're not using this regularly, when you apply this, you get it in different thicknesses according to how you squeeze the trigger. And for DIY people, people like me who, okay, I've built three motorhomes, but I still don't do it regularly, I find that I like something called a ribbon type bedding sealant like this. And this one happens to be in black. And the ribbon is a consistent thickness throughout its length. They come in different widths and they come in different colours. So there's a narrow one as well. This one is much wider. That's about 25 mil or an inch. And I'd also add that this one has enormous grab effect. What that means is when you place it on the component, it's quite difficult to move or just shift about. So accept that that is a feature in different products. But with a ribbon sealant, you do apply it exactly the right thickness. Before I leave that, there is a snag. With this kind of sticky stuff, if there are any points where you want to insert a screw, you find that when you drill the hole, it'll wind the sealant all the way around the thread of the drill. So puncture it first with a sharp tool like that. And then when you insert the screw, it's got a gap to go through and it doesn't wind round and round and round. Finally, I want to focus on what we call adhesive sealants because they are bonding agents. We use them a lot nowadays in car windscreens for sticking car windscreens in because the key thing about adhesive sealants is the fact that they will bond different materials like metal to glass to plastic to wood and that is so invaluable. In fact, a motorhome is almost held together in some areas with adhesive sealants. Normally speaking, it comes in a cartridge and normally speaking, it takes quite a while before it goes hard, 24 hours. And even then after 24 hours, there's still a flexibility in it. It must be at least four millimeters thick. And the only snag is if you ever want to break something apart, or remove a fitting that's been held on with adhesive sealant, you might need an awful lot of hard work cutting and even a cheese wire to scythe through it. But boy, oh boy, is it good. And it's important that you use the right sealant when you're working on a motorhome, whether you're improving one, whether you're adding perhaps even a fresh window. And if, you're, if you want to know more, go on the internet and look at some of those sites where people tell you how they converted their motorhome. You'll find there's a lot to be learnt.